What's up, guys? Got the 240 right here behind me. Uh, my buddy Donald. You've seen this guy before. He seems to think that the 240 is doesn't have rod knock. And like me, you know, was in the sun. I kind of thought I saw like some berry material. But we're gonna like kind of casually investigate it. And then you probably can't see the RX-7 back there kind of hanging out. And we're just gonna kind of take it out. And I'm gonna let him drive the epic. I know it's like really bad lighting because I got this stupid light up here and it's dark. But anyway, yeah, we're just gonna investigate the 240 for a little, you know, see if we can figure out what's going on with this thing. Because he finally came over to the house and got to hear the car run, and you can hear it now. I mean, it sounds good, but then when you give it a little bit of gas, so. He seems to think it's something top end, so we're just gonna like pull the valve cover on it real quick and just look and see if we can figure out what's going on. All right, so we're just gonna like tear into this thing. So, yeah. So, thought I got that thing off. Cause it would be cool if it's just an easy fix and we can have a, have a old Poo 40 to roll, roll around in. I won't even do a thing special. Yeah, that, that little bit of footage y'all seen of this car, that's pretty much the, you know, the end of it. Like I said, I unloaded it, I cleaned it up, and kind of tinkered with it for a little bit and just haven't done anything to it since so um definitely if you stick your head under the car and it's running you can kind of hear you can still hear the noise but it's like not as you know bad if you're like up top you can hear it really bad so we'll see just a quick little investigation fingers crossed that it is like something the top end maybe i don't even know it could be but we're gonna we're gonna check it out we have pain to get to the bolt to the back a little swivel uh, so well, we can take that little brass, that uh, hard line off if we need to. I was gonna take the bracket off, and that should give you enough room to flex those on. Right. Well, let's see, I know I got a swivel on my shape. Might help, there's a swivel if you need. I couldn't even imagine having a nice shop where stuff is organized and you're not <laughs> doing stuff on the dirt. Like this man, like, this one won't ever get nothing done because, like, we. we I mean, just with ants biting you, mosquitoes, and we're in the south, so it's hot and nasty. I, just, I couldn't even imagine. It's, it's got to be the greatest thing ever. So if you have a shop, I hope you know how blessed you are. And like I said, I dabble in doing electrical work here and there and stuff like that. And it blows my mind. You'll see, like, somebody have a house and have a nice garage and it's just, like, full of crap. It's just, like, old Christmas decorations and stuff like that. And I'm like, oh, man, don't know what you got. But... Wish us luck, guys. I really would like for this to be something simple. Because I, I could use a couple wins in life. It'd be awesome. I got lucky with the MR2. Maybe I'll get lucky with the 240. Alright, we ready to go. Let's see what's under here. Like I said, that uh, gasket looks new. Try not to tear that thing. They got the goop on it, though. Eee. Gasket is definitely new. So somebody's been in here recently. Should we put the plugs back in it and fire this thing up? Not sure. How big of a mess you think it's gonna make? Oh, these don't even have lifters, do they? Mm -mm. It's just like directly down on top of the thing. There's the buckets. Yeah. I was thinking look for some reason. Yeah, so definitely maybe like chain slap or something. Shine your light down that chain, see what it looks like. It looks brand new. <laughs> yeah, that's definitely been changed. Yeah, so Are you thinking rod knock now or what? 
Uh, I still don't like where I'm at. Just don't, just don't sound like it, it? Yeah. I mean, they could have done something wrong when they were doing the, doing the timing set on this thing, you know? Mm -hmm. That chain's definitely been replaced. It looks yeah, brand new. definitely been replaced. Which actually kind of makes me feel good, though. Does everything feel tight? Maybe they left something loose? Yeah, this car is always giving me the vibe that somebody took care of it. Like I said, it's got a brand new radiator, brand new radiator in it. It's got plugs and wires. That stuff's recently been changed, and you could tell that 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 uh, gasket for the valve cover was replaced, and the timing chain looks brand new. So, hmm. so de someone's definitely put money and effort into this thing. But maybe they put something in incorrectly or loose and it's done come loose now and I get like crazy chain slap thing maybe like a tension or something then broke or fell off or something yeah it could be I wish there was like an easier way to get in there and see it I'm gonna have to move the RX-7 oh he got in <laughs> yeah Josh rode over uh you probably seen him in the Miata when to take the MR2 out but we're gonna investigate some more on this thing and we'll get back to you yeah. all right well, we got key already in the so yeah it's already in Josh is going to fire this thing up real quick, and me and Donald are going to look and see what we can find. Or I'm going to let Donald look. <laughs> I'm just going to stay out of the way. All right, give her a shot, man. If we holler, cut it off. Here you go. Yeah. Making a freaking mess. Is it just me or did it did not sound that bad with it off? It didn't sound nowhere near. So what? Nissan stuff. Pretty sure. Yeah, it's a little button. Dino. Yeah, that that made a. A crazy mess, but oddly, it didn't. It didn't make my noise, did it? It no didn't. Yeah, it did not. It still made a noise, but it wasn't as bad. It was a little close to being that rattle that it was. Does it look like, is it hitting somewhere? Anybody got some degreaser I can borrow? <laughs> <laughs> well, so I got a bunch of it at the house. Did it get oil on you? No, I, that's why I jumped out the way. Yeah. A little bit on my arm. It's not too bad. No, nah, it's just oil. Look them off, but it definitely didn't sound as bad. <laughs> but we didn't do anything except for make a giant mess. So I don't know. <laughs> We just kind of temporarily kind of loosely put the valve cover back on there and we're gonna crank it up again and uh i don't know it's kind of odd but because it's really loud with the valve cover on fire this thing up don't mind donald so now watch it like not even make any noise at all <laughs>
cut it off. I don't know. That's that's odd. So, huh? Yeah, and I just thought it was louder than that. Hmm. I don't know. But I guess we're just going to leave this thing alone for now because I'm not worried about it. And we're just going to. I don't know. I don't think we achieved much besides making a giant mess. <laughs> Maybe if we put the brake booster vacuum line back up so it's not like surging. Let's still make the noise. No. Uh, junk. Yeah. Oh well. I'm thinking maybe if it's not rod bearings, this gotta be like so they've done something wrong with the timing or something. Something to come loose and now you're getting chain slapped. Cause it's been a long time since I've had a vehicle with rod knock, so I really don't know what it sounds like. So. Try to find that sweet spot, don't make it knock. Cut it off. I don't know. I still say it's rod bearings. It's pretty loud down there. Oh, well, at least I can put the bolts back in it and just pressure wash it and leave it alone. Oh well, I was hoping for something simple, but you know it'd be like that sometimes. Can you get, get the oil panel off or something? Uh, I can look again. I don't think so. It don't look very... Because like the, the cross member is right there in the way. Like I said, we're giving up on the 240. Um, I'm pretty sure it's rod knock, but you know it is what it is. I'm going to let Donald drive the RX-7. So, that's how this goes. <laughs> Ooh, listen to this thing though. Definitely made the right choice. Whether you like our, like rotaries or V8s, whatever, it's definitely the right choice for me. Gotta watch out and like ECU and stuff still down here on the floor. Grab up here and like slam it kind of. Hold on. Get my damn seat. Adjusted. Might be kind of fucking cold. Not that you guys are going to be able to see much. Not too bad. I was hoping I was going to make fun of you on YouTube. <laughs> Hoping it's a motivating to finish this LS Swap 240. Guys, aren't we gonna see anything? I'll look, cut the camera back on and get into some light. Alright, well, we're in town where there's actually like a little bit of light. Let's see if we can get Donald stalling out here at the red light real quick. Stalling, Donald? You gonna stall? Now, if you stall, like me and all 12 of my YouTube subscribers are going to laugh at you. Thing drives pretty good, though. I'm kind of pumped. I'm glad I did it.
Yeah, we, we had like a moment of uh, a moment of terror because it was smelling cool and so you know I did put this thing together in my yard so there's no telling. <laughs> Doesn't it close that thing at a certain time? Yeah, every time I go to that stupid little window, they always have it's closed. I'll be here to be like stand there for like 10 minutes before someone walks the window. Like, hey, the window's closed, bro. I'm like, all right. I know you heard me ring the bell like 10 minutes ago. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we just made our, you know, the normal run for me anyway. The normal run for me is either the parts store or like cookout. I don't know why. But. So, what you think about this thing, man? Was it a good move or no? Definitely I got, better than broken. Yeah, I, I got a broken down 240 and a running and driving FD, so <laughs> I think it worked out. Yeah, we might cruise around a little bit and just get some footage of the RX-7, so, and Donald driving it. This is the first time you've ever driven an RX-7? FD? Because let me tell you, like, the first time, oh, what, what, can I see that? Yeah, I think the first time I ever driven an FD was my FD, the white one, that night that I actually got it on the road. Yeah. I've rode in an FD before, but I never got to drive one. Or no, I did get to drive one. I test drove a uh, one on a car lot. It was like an automatic and everything. I did get to drive one. It was a black one. I remember that. Now. Yep. Back in the day, you could actually find them in the car. I remember finding one like when the RX-8 was first released on a Mazda dealership, and they wouldn't finance it to me. They said I had, cra I had crappy credit, but they'd give me a brand new RX-8. How screwed up is that? Good thing I didn't get the RX-8, because those things are pretty bad from what I've been told. All right, we're gonna get some meat. All right, we're gonna get some milkshakes, and uh, let's cruise around a little bit. guys yeah this is kind of fun kind of checking out the 240 to find out that you know it is what it is but it's actually nice getting out and driving the car around a little bit so donald approves he likes it yeah go ahead in there guys appreciate you for watching sticking around sharing subscribing all that good stuff we'll see you on the next one